What you daydream about typically tells you what you're most passionate about or what you love the most. I never didn't want to run a hedge fund. I mean, it's, it's, it's a great job. I was just more passionate about being an artist. I was a theoretical mathematician in a field of math called algebraic topology, which is kind of a modern form of geometry. I was what's called a prop trader. And then I, I, ran, a, I ran a hedge fund, which was focused on uh, derivatives. Now, obviously, now I'm a, I'm a professional artist. Has there ever been a point at which you've kind of regretted leaving that part of your life behind? Not at all. If I'm walking away from a hedge fund, my name on the door, I mean, I want to be an artist. When you're a theoretical mathematician, when you're a finance person, you don't really produce anything. So the first time really in my life, you actually have something you can actually grasp onto. And in a sense, you haven't really left Wall Street behind. It's, I mean, it's constantly coming up in your pieces. Wall Street preoccupied a large portion of my working life, and so obviously, bringing the reference from Wall Street or making art about Wall Street seemed very natural to me. Usually think of art as creative and awe-inspiring and beautiful and, and math as kind of left-brained and boring. But it turns out, uh, you know, in theoretical math at the kind of the highest level is actually a very creative endeavor. I wondered, if, is there a way I could transform my algorithm into a visual format? So this, this part that's showing through is your algorithm? That's right, yeah. So this was millions of lines of code and I would take out snippets of it that might be relevant to that piece and so I take this kind of C-sharp code and turn it into these visual, these very striking visual shapes, these circles, squares, triangles uh, that are on the background of a lot of these Wall Street pieces. Fortunately, because of my background on Wall Street, you know, I, I, I'm able to pay the rent. It is a hard job to walk away from, and obviously the money itself is a, is a very strong you know, handcuff to the job. For me, I think just my excitement, my passion for art just really trumped that. My goal as an artist was to make the best possible art, not to make a living. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.